What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. My boy, SPK Lifestyle, he's an awesome YouTuber, and uh, he's doing a really great job in Uganda right now. Check him out. First comment pinned to the top, SPK Lifestyle YouTube channel. Um, he's a Manosphere guy that has started vlogging. He, he told me about the story about Alfonso Ribeiro who we all know as Carlton from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And recently he's come out pretty much upset at the black community of not supporting his interracial marriage. Now, to be fair, um, this is something that we know, especially with successful black men. Um, now, black women tend to get away with it a lot easier, a lot more, although they do catch some slack. But a man like, you know, like him, you know, if you're the, law, uh, the doctor, the lawyer, um, you know, I've had these uh, debates with my good brother, Antoine Wade, um, other brothers like BGS Ibmore before. Um, the, the, the more successful that you are as a black man and when you move outside of the community and marry somebody else, it is a problem. OK. Um, but I want to read what he had to say. Dima, take music! I am in a mixed relationship, and I get things and looks and comments constantly. And I find it very interesting, because you see a lot of things on social media where people say things, and people have positions and perspectives. And it's not easy to make that choice, because you're not at home, in any home. I'm never going to be white, and I'm never going to be supported in the black house. So I'm in my own little world with support from almost no one. To be in love with someone I've fallen in love with. How does that make sense? It doesn't. He also says to Black, Atlanta Black Star, Day music! I will support any person that wants to live in the world that they want to live in. I'll support a racist person to live in a world that they want to live in. They don't have to be around me. But if that's the world that they want to live in, they should have a right to live in that world. I live in a mixed world. I, I love in a mixed world. I live in a black world. I love in that world. I feel everyone should be supported. You know, let me say this to brother about brother Carlton Alfonso Ribeiro. You guys know I'm a pro-black and a pan-Africanist. Um, but I want to be honest. And his wife, you know, she seems like she's nice. She's a, a attractive European-looking lady. But we want to be honest about this. Okay, this is the kind of guy. And, and, and I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. He he could have definitely found somebody in our community, but on average, this is the kind of guy. He's short, um, you know, not as masculine as black men should be. In our community, a guy like this has a hard time. Okay, we got to call it for what it is. In our community, a guy like that has a hard time. Okay, most of us as black men know that you know in the black community. To get a more attractive black woman, um, you, you you better be about your stuff. You know, if you're not tall, if you're not the best looking, you better be uber successful, okay? Um, or you better be a rapper or somebody with fame because on average, it's just not gonna happen. We, we understand that. And a lot of times, the more successful you are, the harder it can be to match. For example, I just did a show uh, with a brother on my King Ghana channel, Dr. Mark Eccles. And I want you guys to check that interview out on the King Ghana channel. It should be posting pretty soon. And Dr. Mark Eccles is a PhD. Okay. He wrote this really wonderful book called African Diasporan Relationships. And I asked him flat out. I said, a guy that has your training and your authorship and your academia, did you find it hard dating the African-American community? You know what he told me? He said, plainly like this. You know, I don't, I don't want to really get into that, but I will tell you. I got in where I fit in. All right. And what Dr. Mark Eccles was telling me when he said that without saying it, that dating in the African-American community for someone like him is very difficult. He don't have to say it, but I'll say it. All right. And when guys like Alfonso Ribeiro find love outside of the community, you know, a lot of times those guys are not looked at favorably by sisters. But here's something that I want to also say. And I want to go back to Dr. Mark Eccles, even though I believe that he feels 
he got in where he fit in, which means he didn't fit in so well with us in the, in the in dating our community, but he went to Caribbean and African communities. His wife is Caribbean. There's still no excuse. And we know that there is certain prices to pay when you when you marry outside of, of, of the culture in black America. We got to call it for what it is. People have much more respect for you when you're with your own people. I know that you can fall in love and nice people are here. I've been in Poland for six years. There have been tons of nice um, Caucasian women or, or, or Polish women. They're, every, they're everywhere. I've never in six years, I have the intestinal fortitude because my woman, if I want to date like that, it's going to be either on the continent or somewhere in Atlanta or in Baltimore or DC or somewhere sandaling it up and weaving it up in Milwaukee. All right. My people are more important for, uh, to me and my community than anything else. More important than falling in love. My people mean more than that to me. And there are rules with this in, 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 in our cases. We know that as successful black men, if you date outside of the black community, there's a price to pay. If you're a black woman and you date outside of the community, there is still a price to play. When you are a black man and you date inside of the community, you are rewarded. If you're a black man and marries a black woman, there are a lot of things that it's, it's, we don't want to talk about it. There are rewards for it. You get better access to business connections. Why do you think Boyce Watkins did that? Do you think Boyce Watkins could marry a white woman and still be Boyce Watkins? Absolutely not. There's a benefit for dealing with your own people in our community. We don't want to talk about it, but it is. There's a great benefit. There's access to untapped wealth you can earn, access to untapped connections you can earn. People have a high respect for you when you're black and dealing with black America. But if you if you don't do that, then they don't. They want to say it. So as far as him crying about it, I mean, I get what you're saying, bro, but we know how our community is. And we're not the only community like that. Every community tends to be like that. People prefer their own people. It doesn't make it necessarily uh, racist or anything like that because the, you know the Indians, they're the same way. Um, many, many, many Jewish sects are the same way, okay? Polish people are the same way. Ukrainians are the same way. Russians are the same way. The Chinese are the same way. Thailand, Thai people, Taiwanese are the same way. Pakistani, every, Ethiopians, and you know Ethiopians are, are, are a real big community in America. They're definitely the same way. Everybody understands this. But then in our community, it's like, well, you know, I, I, I'm in love here, but I'm not. Well, bro, like, you're a successful black man. Of course you're going to get the scrutiny. Now, if you were nobody, because people are going to want to know, you have that wealth, you have that access, why are you not using that to the community that you're from? Even if you are short. Even if you, and it goes back to, to, to people don't want to hear excuses for black men. Now, I know that those things are, you know, he fits in over here. I, I get it. But nobody wants to hear that. When a sister says that, well, you know, I can't find a black man. So I want to open up my options. Big problem. But that's just the way it is. There's nothing that you can do to overcome that. And that's the decision that you make. I think if I were to marry somebody from Poland or something like that, Individually, could I be happy with that person? Yes. Would you lose a lot of your community? Yes. And for me, it's just not worth losing the access to the community that people built up for me to access. I can't do that. It's too much of a risk for me. I'm sorry. And some of you talk about, well, we don't have no community. It's the only community I got. And that community feeds me every day. So I'm not getting rid of it. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment in the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.